All right. I am now going to be with my audience of Mike over here. Hello. Uh, bowling a game with a six-pound ball on five-pound bowling pins that are hollowed out. Uh, what are these? Q flights, uh, magna pins, and miscellaneous. Yeah, some unknowns. Yeah, but the magnas came from Cleveland. The Q flights came from uh, Huma. And I did fix the two, if you watched the live stream the other night, with the two with the lead weights falling out, those are fixed and in the rack again. <laughs> oh, never gets old, does it? That would have been funny if the ball stopped. <laughs> Earlier, practicing, I, I hit like the 6-10, and the ball hit the 6 and almost went in the gutter before it hit the 10. Jeez. We'll see what we can do today. The way to get this one... Have the ball deflect off the three into the four. That would be Let's see interesting, if I can... but I have a feeling you're only going to get the three and the six. Probably. Well, air ball. Whoops. Oh, I forgot I put in two names on the score sheet. Uh oh. Well, we just won't have a score. A special note in the Nine pin position is the uh, pin with the measles. <laughs> and it tripped. It oh, is wow. still tripping. I think because the five pound pin hits the cushion, I guess. That could be. We're going to go on a cumulative score between two bowlers up here. So oh. we'll, we'll figure it out. I doubt there are going to be very many spares on this thing. <laughs> wow. Six into the gutter. All right, after two frames, we have a 12. Got a 10 pin. I have no idea what it is. It's a recoded pin. It would be well, interesting to kind of scrape on one to see if there's anything under there. That would be fun to do. Yeah. See if we can maybe see a raised area. Right. Almost Notice any of the pins laying, like, they don't, the heads don't touch the pin deck. Yeah, so you almost got the ball off the kickback. I sense a spare coming. Well, we'll see. <laughs> well, there it Apparently, is. But there we go. Got a 12 plus a spare in the third. So we got 22 in the third plus the first ball on the fourth frame here. Speaking of fourth frame, the number four pin finder just lit up for no reason. Because it needs adjusting. Well, probably because those pins slam into the Oh, deck. that's true. They're, they're a lot heavier than normal. Ooh. The dreaded Brooklyn 2, 4, 6, 7, 10. Again, look at the look at this spare maker up there. What do we have on the? It's telling maker? you to bowl at the four. At the four. Yeah. I'm not to talk to Rod J about that. Maybe. Oh, yeah, then again, if you aim the four, you're going to slide the two over. So that would be. That seems to be correct. I would have thought it would have a little arrow between the two and the four, but yeah. What do I know? Let's we'll see if I can deflect. <laughs> deflected, all right. I right, deflected really the it. wrong way. Well, let's see, 22, 27, got a 33 out of four frames. Not very good. And again. Didn't have to hit it. Two, four, six. It would be interesting if I let the two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, I would have knocked down all odd pins only. I think, think about that. Yeah, I think you have to go off the right side of the triangle there on the two pin. 
I'm gonna try. Maybe. Yes, Ooh, it works. See? <laughs> never say never. All right, after five frames. 33, the 43 in the fourth with the spare working on the fifth. Oh, six frame. Pardon me. And oh, oh yes, pin action. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Where did that come from? I'm not sure. Tripping the machine or the pins? I don't know. Oh, we got a pair of Magnus. Ooh. The, the black ones were from Homa. They use those in a color pin sweeper. The tin pin's another Magna pin. Right. Come on. Oh. <laughs> two, six, seven, uh, two, six, eight. Six, eight. Yeah. I leave it all the time. Who doesn't leave the two, six, eight at least once during the league? Probably not James Hale. All right, this is going to be tough. Oh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, can the ball deflect off two pins? It might. Well, we may never know. That was my hope. Hit the two. Maybe it should have come from the right. Uh, and probably. maybe it would have bounced back into the four or the six. Let's see, frame number eight. I can't even calculate my score anymore. Definitely going to be below 100. Uh-oh. Not a crazy leave. Yeah, mm. and didn't trip the machine. Guess I can't have everything, right? Frame number nine. This is not as easy as you think, the 3610. Nope. If I don't hit the left side of the three pin, it's going to go in the gutter. It'll go all the way to the left. Let's see what happens. Hey, Ooh. bounce. I think that may have bounced out of the gutter, but hey, bounce. I need all the help I can get. Situation, who cares? All right, 10th frame. Just making sure. Yep. Foul still works. Mm -hmm. Oh, head pin. I think the lead weight's coming out. Oh, well. Just leaning. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the ball's like ball spinning, spinning around in place. Remember, when you get thirsty, BJ's Quick Stop, home of Louisiana. <laughs> you said it's still there, right? Yep. All right, I'm going to deflect the ball here if I can. Ooh. Or that, and they both almost hit it. Wow. Oh, uh, well, probably right around 100, though, but there's my game. With a six pound ball on five pound heavyweight pins. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.